positively Jax. Today, Jacksonville Transportation Authority bus drivers and mechanics put their skills to the test as part of its annual rodeo showcase. They went through simulations, real life scenarios, all to see who could handle the pressure on the job. News for Jax reporter Aaron Farrar was there and shows us two types of events that determine how these workers deal with stressful situations. Squeezing through tight spaces in a JTA bus. Among the many obstacles Kim Rose had to go through to showcase her driving skills. The, uh, the first obstacle that I went through was called the serpentine. So as you're going through, you are unable to hit any cones within um, that entire run. The annual JTA rodeo, putting these workers' skills to the test, challenging their ability and their mentality. It is a burden off of me now. Now I can get a good night's sleep tonight. This was Rose's first time competing. She's been a bus driver for 14 years now, the last two with JTA. What do you want people to know who don't realize how hard it is to be a bus driver? It is extremely hard. I thought when I first signed up for it, I was just going to be driving like I'm driving out on the street, doing the turns and all, but they are really tight turns. Clear? Clear. Nope, same thing on the rear run. Another part of the competition deals with mechanic work. Getting a bus's engine to start running again, troubleshooting and problem solving on a 10 minute deadline. <laughs> Tommy Cruz, who was a JTA mechanic for 14 years, has won this event nine times before. With this, you have no idea. So when you start, try to start it, you have to determine whether it's an electrical problem, a fuel problem, air problem, and go to that problem where it lies at. And then you're steadily crawling all over it to make sure every nut and bolt is where it's supposed to be placed at, every clamp is tight, um, the belts are in place, the pulleys are where they're supposed to be at. This is a milestone year for JTA. This rodeo has been going on for 50 years now. Yes, these JTA workers say this is all for fun. Uh, the job that I do is absolutely wonderful. I love to drive in general and just networking. But they also want people to see what they can potentially face while out on Jacksonville streets. Our goal is to get them up and running safe for the customers, um, to verify that everything is in good working order and go from there. Um, we do the best we can to make it as safe as possible for whomever gets on these buses. I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.